Alright folks, welcome back to Let's Play the Space Bar on the Mysterious JG. You may have noticed we're not in this guy's flashback yet, because I took a moment to check on the correct frequency that we need to block, and it's 46.3. Okay, so it's 40, 41, 42, 43. Ah, oh, this is annoying me now. The, The click noises are kind of weirding me out. I couldn't tell where I actually was. 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. This is 46 point, what? No, I'm trying to adjust this one. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. Okay. 46.3. So this is 0.1, 0.2, 0.3, I would think. Exit and turn it on. Examine it. Aside from this tiny dial, looks just like your average tie clip. Wait, wait a minute. I think there's something engraved on the back. Well, it should still be at 46.3. Do I need to like wear it or something? Yeah. Well, I don't have a tie. I could wear it on my lapel if I didn't mind looking like a complete dork. Alright, at any rate, I think I've got this thing set correctly now. So that should help us to some extent against uh, evildoers. And now I just gotta chat again with this fella. This nice guy that he is. Greetings. I'd slap tails with you, but as you can see, I don't have a tail. You can't see. What's yours? Click, snap, snap, rattle. Now get out of here before I knock your kneecaps off, alias. Alias says per the field procedure manual, you should insert disc one at this time. Alias, this guy just threatened to kill you, or at least bad to injure you if you even talk to him. So please continue talking to him using disc one. Yeah, that's the stuff. Did I mention that this is Let's Play the Space Bar? Hello, folks. This is Let's Play the Space Bar. I'm the serious JG. Uh, despite I enjoy this game despite crashing and uh, some sync problems that have come up anytime the game crashes or when I try to open up something while I'm in the middle of recording. Hope you've enjoyed it too. But uh, we're closing in on the end of the flashback sequences, which means that pretty soon I'm going to have to get to actually solving the puzzles of the cantina itself. This game is entirely, of course, uh, I can't hear what you're saying there, man. Uh, something ain't right here. Well, I got plenty of cash. Okay, there we go. And I am talking to you. What a coincidence. I was going to say that this game is in some part inspired by the cantina scene in Star Wars, but this guy's got a massive stash, so let's act tough. I don't need luck. But you do need me. So how do you score this map? I understand that the narcs and rumble ping have a pretty tight net there. How'd you pull it off? First, you gotta keep a low profile and avoid the narcs. Then you gotta navigate the detectors and the creeps. But once you score, you're made for life. I'll never have to risk my neck again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, what are your plans? Once I unload my stash, I'm... Once we get into my flashback, you'll find out, I suppose. Maybe. Something. Okay, we already saw this. Yo, Aaron, boy. Yo, yo, yo. Uh, 4650 is the alarm code. 
Use your controller to shut it off before entering or leaving. Know the alarm reactivates the three ticks. Yeah, I do. I really should read this again. Just. Uh, Four six five zero. Oh, we gotta remember them. See, that was you, they see with sound. So. An ancient wooden clock that has been fused into the wooden balls of the chamber. Say, this is one classy safe house. Hey, Okay, there's tree stuff. What do we have? We've got a sprig of flutterweed. Flutterweed, an herb found in moon jets clearance on the surface below. Highly narcotic, highly addictive, highly illegal. And because of the dangers of traveling to the surface to collect it, very, very expensive. We've got an infrared code controller. Which we will mess with later, 4650, remember. Oh, we've still got this. So we don't have to really remember that it's 4650. This is the note I found in the usual drop spot early this morning. Aha. Typical specimen of knotty bull fungus, common at the lower ranches. They make excellent side tables. Let's uh, stash this, and uh, we'll stash this. We can't see sponge bed. I didn't hear that. In case you haven't worked it out, I guess what happened, I couldn't really see anything. But once you turn this clock on, there's more sound in the room, and that's what they used to see. So. Okay, so now we're in the other room. Let's uh, examine this. A wee little hoodlum. Tarka fruit preserves. The prison is small enough to make a glad to call go cross eye. <laughs> Let's see. A board operating heavy machinery or pneumatic lifts for 30 minutes after ingesting. Okay, we got crackle snap plop. Crunch something. We got some. We gotta find us the recipe, because these are probably the ingredients. We can pull the legs off of them. I'm thinking we probably have to pull a specific number of legs off of them. Yeah. This would be the lab that's hidden away behind the waterfall so that the cops can't find it. Basket and rope. And window, listen. Other than the rustling of a few close leaves, you hear nothing. An opening for fresh air and to let in some natural sound. The smell of fire scum rises up. The lightning is getting on my nerves. It's preventing me from actually hearing the dialogue. Crack, snap, plop. Crunch, crunch, and Twitter beep. Beep, 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 beep. 
Billy, Billy, Billy. These are all going to be drug ingredients, I would assume. Boy, I'd make a great drug dealer. Yeah, okay, okay. Smell of Huey Long. All right, let's ponder our next room and move in here, where at least there's not quite as much noise. Uh, I know you're an experience with the chemistry. You just followed the recipe. Well, where? I mean, do we have a recipe? Oh, you know what? The recipe might be. Here we go. Message from... There we go. Find these ingredients process in any order. One sprig of flitterweed, crack, snap, pop, alive with all our wings and legs intact. Saliva from a snether cat, a mature bleat bleat eel, five of Crunch Crunch's legs. Do not throw in the six. Save it for use as a soup base the next time you have company. <laughs> Alright, so what are we going to need? We're going to need flutterweed, snap, plop, crackle, snap, plop, some saliva from a snather cat, a mature bleat bleat eel, and crunch crunch legs. We are trying to specialize in the defense of those arrested on charges of drug manufacture distribution. Our rates are competitive, and our clients enjoy a discharge rate of approximately 70%. Our office is conveniently located at 17 Not View Circle, just three platforms to the Crackle Boom Courthouse. Results of your throat culture indicate a non-viral laryngitis condition which should pass in two to three days. In the meantime, brush your voice. Also, you'll have trouble producing enough sound to view your environment, so carry an artificial sound source if you venture into any quiet areas. Okay. So, see, normally he should be able to... The puzzles we're going to have to solve may involve not being able to see because of the fact that he should normally be able to see with his sonar abilities, but that's going to be the special, unique difficulty that we will have to solve as puzzle gamers. You're interested in a retirement community that won't make you feel like an old war not useless bird on society called the Happy Branch Seals Team, blah blah blah. Yo, Clickster, my friends and I are interested in a little C bomb action. Can you get us in touch with a big guy and tell us tell him to give us his best prize and then stupid blank? It was a dark and stormy night. So we've got the crunch crunch. Mantis and the Falcon Crawl. Well, wait a minute. How do we how do we get into those bottles and get stuff? Oh, the professor the professor's artificial voice forms to the container unit is currently vacant. But I don't seem to be able to take anything out of there. Crackle snap plop alive with all the wings and legs attacked. Am I supposed to figure out which of these names refers to which insect? Uh oh. So I gotta figure out which of these is which. Alright. A 
Dragonfly King, capable of carrying off medium-sized farm animals. These dragonflies are very hard to capture. Dragonfly snatchers scour the jungle for weeks to find a single one of these monsters, which are popular both as pets for bad children and as ingredients in hallucinogenics. <laughs> All right, well, the bugs have escaped, so... That doesn't seem to have done anything useful. Shouldn't we be able to pull it back up? Figured we could just drop it, and if nothing happened, pull it back up. Yeah. Maybe with some new bugs in there. Ah, we got an eel. And we need one of those, don't we? Bleed, bleed eel. Good, good, good. So that's progress. What if we do the same thing over here? Okay, so we need um, well, we need some stuff that we don't have here, like saliva from Battle Cat or whatever the hell. So let us save the game because I th think we're gonna get in trouble if we try to leave without entering that alarm code. I just want to see what happens. Maybe we are okay. I might want to remember that number. 37458. Now, I didn't uh, get arrested for leaving the safe house? I thought I was going to get arrested. Just in case we screwed up something in the long term, let's load and do that again and, and use the little keypad thing. Four six five zero. Okay. Did I want to keep that on? It seems like I've got enough light. It's a wicker step. A simple wicker step for helping travelers step over the railing before swinging to the next platform. So if we go east. Where do we end up if we go east? Your location, cops location. So we should be able to go north. What is the err uh about? Well, let's try going west. Then southwest. What's going on over here? There's a burpleware lunch pail. Let's examine it. A genuine burpleware lunch pail for that hermetically sealed freshness. 
sounds like something we might need in the drug trade, so let's pick it up. The cops don't seem to have been alerted to our presence despite the scary noise, so let's... So what is the purpose of this place? Tide vine, your location, cop location. This is potentially a puzzle later when we're fleeing from cops, but right now the cops have not been alerted to our presence, so... Going west. Did I just... Oh, I just came back in here without a... Yeah, the cops are coming after me now. I'm sure you will be very comfortable yeah. in the work minds of Piddle Funk. Because I went back in there without uh, doing the alarm code thingy, because I'm stupid. So let's try this again. What was it? What was the code? Re 4650. Four, that was the sound of the alarm reactivating. I gotcha. Okay. So I can go back one more time. Now I would have to save before I could do anything. Or rather, 4650. I just have to input that. No, not this, this. Boom, examine. So now I'm back in here. Let's go back outside for a second. Do I have any phone numbers that we can try? Uh, whistle, whistle. Is gave us the uh, to be able to call Whistle Whistle and find out from him what do we do about all this freaking uh, I don't know which insects which now that ain't making my job any easier 88300 yeah there must be a reason we were given a single phone number I'm listening closely for clues. You know me best as the portly but endearing detective on the hit series. Hey, somebody's clubbed my husband. The show was a big hit. I struck it rich on a golden river of syndications and product endorsements. A wealth and lifestyle that most seniors And yet, maybe I do have something in common with you. Like 47% of today's seniors, I suffer from this. That's UEDS. Uncontrollable earwax. Hmm. The talking box must be empty. One of the many ubiquitous phones of the Rumble Pay Artel Company. 
Oh crap, I clubbed the phone to try to get a token out of it, and it turns out that, uh, that ain't happening. So, let's go inside, because I don't think I heard the... What was... Did the alarm go back on? 4650? Couldn't hurt to put it in again. Was it 4560? Okay, so we don't know which... I didn't mean to go from the room of drips to the room of squeaks. But, um... Huh, we got a little pondering to do, folks. There's some fruit preserves. The taste satisfy the savage animal and all of us. We got the flutter weed. I think we've got the insects, but we don't know which one's which. We've got the bleat bleat eel. We need to get saliva from a snather cat. And we've got to figure out how to tell which of these bugs is which. Not 100% sure on how to do any of this. Is that what you avoid? Not sure what to do. Not sure. Hold on a second. Can I get into bed and will that do anything useful? I'm not sure that this is accomplishing anything, so let's get back out of bed. Can I eat the bed? here and we got something. I went over here and there didn't really seem to be anything. The next order of business is probably to explore each of these locations. Then maybe to save the game and head up to here and see if you know the cops aren't on my trail. I should be good. Although they said dillyweed is illegal. I might not want to go up there with all my, my inventory. Well, we'll find out shortly. See anything here? Oh, I've spotted something. We are going to need to get the cops chasing us, because otherwise we can't swing up to there. 
but we probably want to be done with everything we need to do here first. Yeah, I don't know, folks. It seems like we really do need to uh, to lure the cops into chasing us. But I'm not quite ready for that yet. So I'm going to put it on this screen because it makes the game less crashy. And I'm going to end the video. When we come back, folks, uh, well, I'm going to have to put some thought into what to do next. Uh, because we want the cops to chase us so that we can get out of this area. But we haven't made the Cerebomb yet, so I'm not absolutely sure. We'll find out, hopefully next video, what we need to be doing. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll see you next time.